Whew. Hey, what's going on guys? Ray Shapley, where to live in Austin. So behind me is a model by Hill Country Artisan. I'm out in La Ventana, one of my favorite little neighborhoods out in uh, Driftwood, so southwest of Austin. And what's unique about this one is, well, two things, right? So it's on six acres. So La Ventana, this neighborhood, I'd say the average home is probably in that one to two acre range. Homes do go up to five acres and even more. Uh, but in general, the average is around two acres. This is on six acres. It's, I think this home was probably, probably built six or seven years ago uh, to be a model. So it's gonna be slightly dated. It's got a phenomenal floor plan though, and I really wanna show you that. It's gonna be on the market, I'd say in the next few months, maybe weeks. I think it's probably gonna go for around two mil, 2.1, if I had to guess. But either way, let me get to it. Let me show you guys, see what you think. All right, so this home sits on, again, six acres. Not the most beautiful time of year to look at property in Texas, but right now it's got a two car garage plus a construction office entrance, but they'll switch that back over to a garage. And this property goes on quite a ways. This is probably, I would say, one of your closest neighbors there. Property actually goes back all the way to those cisterns and that wood fence back there, if you can see that, and all the way to that barn and then on up. So I love the fact that there's just this little courtyard here right off the front. And you've got several doors. So this is gonna be the casita, it's attached, but this is kind of the mother-in-law suite or casita. And so there's a door coming out to it here. And then this, the steel front door. So coming in, nice little details on the ceiling. Huge entryway, really like this. Like what they've done with the tile and lots of natural lights. So you've got light coming from there. You've got light coming from this dining room. You've got it coming from the front door here. And then of course, the slider onto the little courtyard. So it just creates a lot of light on that entryway. All right, so let's start with the dining room. Now typically in this house, this would be the entry from the garage. It's a glass door because they're using that as their construction office, but let's take a look. So they did a great job on this dining room. It's big enough, usually it might problem with most dining rooms is they're just not big enough. They've also got some nice little detail lights, some little LEDs up here in addition to the recessed can lights. Wooden beams are nice, lots of textures on the wall. Just a great dining room and it'll connect on through to the kitchen right over there. So coming from there, let's check out, check out this living room. So I'm not always a fan of the dual island in a kitchen, but in this case, two islands works. I like it a lot. And what's interesting, this first island here, uh, they used reclaimed uh, 
the floor of an old like 1920s railroad car for this. So for a build a model, it's actually got a little personality. But see here, you've got your vegetable sink on this side. You've got plenty of eating area over here. You've got your coffee area, lots of drawers, high cabinets, some open cabinets, china cabinets, tons of storage in this kitchen. Look at the drawers over here too. Just wall to wall drawers on that side. And they do have a little bit of a design going on with this ceiling. Got a little bit of a, a little bit of work on that. I like that. Kind of that floating piece up there. And then here's your breakfast nook. Like the dining room, this is the right size. Then you've got another door out onto the patio and a little bit of pop-up ceiling. Even though it's an older model, they, they did have the exposed shelving when they did it, so they were kind of ahead of things at that point, so it really works well now to have that. Let's check out this pantry here. Good sized pantry. I love that there's a window out from the pantry. Behind the kitchen, we've got right here a little work area. So I like this that it's hidden away from sight of the kitchen, but still close by and accessible. Great little, you know, what you call bill pay station, homework area, something like that. So it's still connected with the rest of the house, but out of eyesight in case there's paperwork or something like that out. Here's the laundry room. Not a bad size, so the washer and dryer would go over here. And then lots of cabinets. And a plug for your fridge right there. We do have a Jack and Jill set up here where this bathroom leads into here. So you've got a shared shower and commode. This room's pretty big. Mm -hmm. 
Here's the media room. This can be a, a number of rooms, but media is kind of how it's set up. Good size room. We've got some, some LED lights behind that. That's nice. And then over here, we've got a full bar set up. So on this side of the house, we've got the master of the main bedroom. So we've got a coffee bar coming in, along with some windows, high windows out to the patio. All right, and then master bedroom, Good little seating area over there, reading area. Got some inlaid lights up top and then nice views. I don't know if you can see it, but nice views of the hill country out here, out those windows. Windows are placed high, I like that. That way you can get a bed there and you don't have to worry about where it is, but you still get the natural light. You've got a, uh, a door out to the back patio there. And then let's check out this master bath. So walking in, wood beams on the ceiling, standalone tub. All right, in the shower, so they've inlaid stone down below. A couple different tile textures and patterns going on here. Dual shower heads. Well done. Really nice shower. All right, time to check out the closet. Good size. Again, has windows and some built-ins, built-in dresser. So coming down this hall, we've got a guest bath here, powder room. Here's the office. built-in bookshelves in the office. And then here is the mother-in-law suite. This is what I like probably the best about this floor plan, just because I work with a lot of folks who are looking for something like this. So you've got a little living area, appropriately sized for one or two people. 
That's kind of clever how they did the TV up there. That's pretty efficient. Here's the bedroom. And then of course this looks out onto that courtyard. So it's got its own entrance, its own little front area. This might be a good, they've got it set up as a dresser. You could do a little work area there too. 